In this video, we're going to add text to our feed Aspen game for Pygame and Python. Hey guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com, and in this video, we're going to add text to our feed Aspen game. Now, we've added text to our Pygame games in the past. In this playlist, we've done it a lot of times, but that was back when we were doing functional programming. We've sort of switched over to object-oriented programming, class-based programming, and so in this video, we're going to add text using object-oriented programming. And it's pretty much the same as functional programming. It's a little bit different, slightly different here and there, but really not that difficult. So it should take us just a few minutes. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Pi Game series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So very quickly, this is what we're going to be working on in this video. We're going to add some text. We're going to have a score and lives at the top. We've got a little title that says Feed Aspen. And while we're at it, let's also sort of make Aspen bound by the thing. So she can't go any further than the bottom or the sides. And she also can't go up above the box. And also, let's put in a little thing that says you win whenever you get all the food. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's head over to our code here. And I've got a file here. I'm calling it aspen underscore collide 5.py. It's just the same exact code from our last video in the playlist. If you didn't see that, check the playlist. I've just renamed it five. It was four in the last video. So let's come down here and we've got this score. Let's also give a self dot lives and let's set that at five just to begin with. So that's good. And let's see, what else do we need? In this initialization function, we can also define our fonts. Remember, we have to always define fonts. So let's say define fonts. And we probably want a couple here. We want just the like the score and lives text, which are smaller. And then we want the title text, which is bigger. We'll also use that title text. So when you win the game, it says you win in the middle of the screen. We can use that for that. So to do that, we just name it. So let's call this self dot. Um, let's go small font. And for this, I want to use pygame dot font dot sys font. And I'm going to use the font of impact. I like that font. And let's have this size 24. Now, back many videos in this playlist, we talked about fonts and things. You can use system font or you can import your own. You import your own using classes like we're doing here in the same way as before. So instead of this being sys font, it would just be pygame.font.font, I guess. And then you just put the path to your font, right? Just like in that video we talked about many videos ago in the playlist. Check that out if you're confused on that. So, okay, let's also go self dot um, title font. So this is gonna, or maybe we should call it big font. Yeah, let's call it big font. I don't know, right? And this is just going to be the same as this. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing. But instead of size 24, let's make it bigger like size 60. So we've defined our fonts and now we need to actually create some text. So let's come down here to our draw function and let's create some text. So we first want a title text, right? So it's going to be title text equals and we'll call this self dot, uh, what do we call this big font? And we want to dot render this. And we want it to say feed Aspen, Woo <laughs> right? And we want anti-alias to be true. And for the color, let's give it that same blue that our border thing is. That's 003660. It's just a, a shade of dark blue that I like. Okay, so now let's get a rect here. Let's go title underscore rect. And this is gonna equal our title underscore text dot get underscore rect. And now we want to place this on the screen. So let's go title underscore rect. And let's give this, let's put this right in the center. So let's go center X. And let's put this at the window underscore width divided by two. So right in the middle of the screen, right? And we also want to put it down a little bit. So let's go title underscore rect dot top. And we want to put that five pixels down from the top. That should be good. Okay, so that looks good. Now we could retype all of this stuff, but let's just copy this and paste it again. And let's also have a win text. And this is also gonna be a big font. And let's have it say, what? You win, <laughs> right? And instead of it being blue, maybe we want it to be red or something. So I'm just gonna say red, whatever. And this is gonna be a win rect and then win text.rect, and then here, the same thing, we want this to be win underscore rect, and same thing here, we want it to be win underscore rect. Now, 
we don't want this top. Let's put this dot center y and have that equal the window underscore height divided by two. This will put it squarely right in the middle of the screen. So, okay, that looks good. And what else do we want? We want a score text and a lives text. So let's do this again and let's call this score text. And now this is not gonna be big font. This is gonna be small font, which I think is what we called it. Yeah, small font. So here we want this to be not feed Aspen. What we probably wanna do here uh, is just call this what, score and then put a space here and then let's concatenate and call this string function to convert our score into a string. And this is just gonna be self.score, right? Because we have defined that right here. And every time we have a collision, we're adding to the score and preprint, well, printing it to the terminal. We really don't need to do that anymore. So I'll comment that out. We do need to increase it by one every time we have a collision with the food. When we collide with the food, it means we're eating the food and the food disappears and our score goes up, right? So, okay, that's that. We'll keep this anti-alias true. We also want this blue, so that's good. That looks good. So we also need to change this to score and this to score and this to score. Now we probably don't wanna put this at the center of the screen, right? What do we wanna do? Hmm, let's put it uh, top left and wanna set that equal to position five and five. So over five, down five from the top left. And so we can get rid of that. All right, that looks good. And we also want a lives text. And for this, this is gonna say lives. Instead of self.score, this is gonna be self.lives. And we'll keep it true and the same blue color. All right, change this to lives and this to lives. Now we probably don't want this on the top left. Well, we gotta change this to lives first. There we go. We want it on the top right. So we want it on the right screen, right hand side of the screen. And here, let's put this at position window underscore width minus say five. So we want to, we don't want it right up against the, the side. We'll give it a little bit of a buffer, but and we want it down five. So, okay, that looks pretty good. So if we go ahead and save this, if we run this, nothing's gonna happen because we've sort of defined the text, but we now, as we know from past videos, we need to blit the text. So we need to blit it to the screen. So to do that, we call our screen because that's what we named our screen, right? This entire display area, right? That's our screen. So let's go screen dot blit. And what do we wanna blit? Well. First off, let's split our title underscore text and our title underscore rect. And let me just copy this. What do we have? One, two, three, four of these guys. So two, three, four. And this is gonna be our win text and our win rect. And this is gonna be our what? Score text and our score rect. And this is gonna be our lives text and our lives rect. Okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. Let's head over to our terminal in my C slash games directory. Got my virtual environment turned on. Let's run Python aspen underscore collide5.py and boom. Now, right off the bat, it says you win, which is definitely not what we want, but We've got the score here, that looks good. We've got the lives here, we've got the title, that looks good. If we come up, you can see, boom, the score is increasing as I'm getting food. So that's good, so seven, eight. So if we get eight, that means we won. So we only want to show this you win thing if we've won. So how do we do that? Well, super easy. Let's come down here to our win text and let's copy this, get rid of it and bring it down here. Now, what we wanna do is just run a little bit of logic. Let's say if our self.score equals eight, then we'll blip this stuff to the screen. Otherwise, just do nothing, right? So let's go ahead and save this and run it, make sure that worked. So let's come in here, boom, boom, five, six, seven, eight, UN pops up. All right, so we're gonna need to remove that from the screen once we restart the game, but we haven't built in the restart 
functionality yet, so we don't have to worry about it just yet. And that's good. We also don't have a live system, right? We don't have no way to die yet. So we're going to build that in future videos as well. Uh, but we're coming right along. So now, very quickly, let's just make sure we can see right now Aspen can go off the screen. She can go down. She can go up. She can go all the directions. We don't want that. We only want her to go up to like here. We only wanted to go to here on the side and like over here on this side. And we don't want her to go further than the bottom of the screen. So how do we do that? Well, super simple. We can do this very quickly just by kind of modifying our text a little bit. Let's come down here to our Aspen class. And this is where our keys are getting used. So we're using the arrow keys. And this is, you know, telling us what to do when we press these different arrow keys. So here, this is moving left. So that's that way, right, whatever, left. And we've got this to where if it goes left, send it left. But we can also say and self dot rect dot x is greater than or equal to zero. Now zero is the end of the screen. And we don't want to go right up to the end because our box has a border. And so you know, there's like, I think it's 10 pixels or so. No, it's only four, but we also want to give a little bit more of a space buffer. So let's put 10 instead of zero there. So that should work. Now this is for the right. So we want and self dot rect dot x, we want this to be less than or equal to the window width minus 95. Now, Aspen is like, I don't know, 85 pixels, I think, in width, something like that. But again, we want a little bit more of a buffer. So she's not just right up against the side of the screen. We want to have a few pixels there. So it, it looks a little more natural. So that should look good there. So now up and down. So this is up. So let's go and self dot rect dot y, y coordinates are up and down. We want this to be greater than or equal to 110. Again, that space at the top is about 100 pixels, but we, we want to put a little buffer. So we're going to say 110. All right, that looks good. And then finally down, this is going to be and self dot rect dot y. And this is going to be less than or equal the window height. So window underscore height minus Again, 95 Aspen is around 85, 84 pixels, something like that. But again, we want to put a little bit of a buffer underneath it. So she's not right up against the bottom. There's a little bit of a space there. I just think it looks a little more natural. So if you don't want that, you know, you would just put it to whatever the width of your, your image is. So hers is 85, you would put 85. But like I said, I want a little buffer. So there we go. All right, hopefully that worked. We kind of knocked that out fast, but I think that's right. So here, we can go up and if I go back down, boom, and you can see what, what I mean here, there's a little bit of a buffer. There's a few pixels. That's like that extra little 10 pixels. So she's not right up against it. I, I, I just kind of like that having a little space there. So same thing over here. You can see there's that little 10 pixel buffer there. And let's try over here just to make sure. Ah, there we go. That's good. Again, we've got that little bit of buffer space there. I like that. And then again, up here, boom, not as much of a buffer there. So maybe we would change that to 120 or 115 or something, but still pretty good. And we win. There we go. So moving right along, we've got some text. We've got some functionality in the keeping of the score. We've got Aspen finally bound to some boundaries. Aspen needs boundaries. If you guys don't know Aspen, and you probably don't because you've never met her, Aspen needs boundaries. <laughs> so <laughs> she now has boundaries in the game as in life. And uh, we were coming right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 190,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Alder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.